Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. 325k police officers just sent Nike a bold message they'll never forget. Nike's new ad campaign for Just Do It that uses Colin Kaepernick as their social justice warrior and the new face of their brand is getting massive blowback and rightly so. They seem to have forgotten who truly sacrifices in this country and it isn't those such as Kaepernick. The ad campaign is a slap in the face to police, military, and first responders. Gino Ficinati, Nike's vice president of brand marketing for North America, told ESPN, We believe Colin is one of the most inspirational athletes of this generation, who has leveraged the power of sport to help move the world forward. The tone deafness here is stunning. Now, the fraternal order of police is stepping forward and speaking out against Nike's 30th anniversary ad campaign. The FOP has over 325,000 officers with over 2,100 chapters across the country. So, that's a pretty loud voice. Chuck Canterbury, who is the national president of the Fraternal Order of Police, even went so far as to defend Kaepernick and Nike's right to do as they please regarding freedom of expression. Immediately following that, however, he made it abundantly clear what police think of that expression in a formal statement. From the FOP Colin Kaepernick and all Americans have the constitutional right to freely express their views, even if they are uninformed and inflammatory. Indeed, law enforcement officers have an obligation to defend these rights and we do so every day, even in those cases when the views expressed are hostile, hateful or offensive to the men and women of law enforcement. The Fraternal Order of Police has been called upon to boycott Nike for capitalizing on this former professional football player because he attracts controversy. In our experience, Boycotts and similar exercises do not succeed and often serve only to enrich the company, which is not what we want to do. Our members and, for that matter, any American citizen, understands when the law enforcement profession is being insulted, we have no doubt they will make their purchases with that insult in mind. If Nike chooses to create an ad campaign featuring a former quarterback who describes cops as pigs and makes large donations to the family of a convicted cop killer and wanted fugitive, Joanne Chesimard who murdered New Jersey State Trooper Werner Forster in cold blood in 1973, they are free to do so. Since 2016, 381 officers have been killed in the line of duty. They believed in something and sacrificed everything, as did the families they left behind. All of the men and women in law enforcement believe in something and are prepared to sacrifice everything. Ultimately, this ad campaign will end and our nation will no longer associate sacrifice and sneakers. Instead, we will once again associate sacrifice with our fellow Americans in our military and police departments who stand in harm's way to protect the rest of us and our right to express ourselves. In August of 2016, Kaepernick told Steve Weich of NFL Media, I am not going to stand up to show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color. To me, this is bigger than football and it would be selfish on my part to look the other way. There are bodies in the street and people getting paid leave and getting away with murder. Nike's Kaepernick ad features his face with the slogan, Believe in something. Even if it means sacrificing everything. Kaepernick has sacrificed nothing and has made millions throwing a ball around. He makes even more money by supporting communists and radical groups. There is nothing noble or admirable about Colin Kaepernick. Police put everything on the line for us daily and many of them give up their lives doing their duty to serve and protect. The ad also insults the service and sacrifice of our veterans. The FOP may not boycott Nike but I certainly will and so will many Americans over this. This deal with Nike will make Kaepernick millions and he will become even more famous. This is a guy that supports cop killers like Joanne Chesselmart and radical groups such as Black Lives Matter. He wears shirts that sport Che and talks about racial oppression and social justice. But I have yet to see that he has sacrificed anything of merit yet. The response against Nike over this has been thunderous. But hey, at least Iran's Mahmoud Ahmadinejad supports Kaepernick. The hashtag NFL season will start this week, unfortunately once again at Kaepernick 7 is not on a NFL roster. Even though he is one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Hashtag Colin Kaepernick hashtag NFL. One wonders if Mahmoud even watches football because it sure doesn't sound like it, but I bet he wears Nike. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.